Why do you even want to go to Ghana again? I love Ghana so much. After 51 years, just as the same way I love Nigeria. Oh, quain to me, mana, till my bread. Me mano, me chia mo yena o. Na ma di swa ye mi dro. Akwaba. So, me da me asi. Unsu ma chia o, me si akwaba. Back to Arenga TV. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. I remain your G Arenga. Today is a very special day. Our dearest father, who was born in uh, Ghana and uh, relocated later to uh, Nigeria, is the one that we are trying to locate uh, his residence. And uh, we want to you know, put most of the questions that you've all asked across to Baba. He's also facing some challenges, and, uh, which uh, he might likely, you know, uh, tell you people over there, my beloved subscribers, what and what he's facing, and let's see if there's any way we can be of help to him. Even before coming down to this place, he has already told me that he needs some financial assistance. Though I'm not that buoyant, but I've tried my best possible to package something very small for him, at least to still hold on to him. So, however, that's Mr. Holla. I'm sure you have, you might have seen him, you know, in one or two of our videos. He's a very good friend of mine. And I have uh, my boy, that's Cooks. So, we are all going to meet Baba today. Oh my god. Yeah. So god that's Baba for you. Ah. <laughs> uh, we are glad to uh, meet Baba again. And uh, Baba is going to answer all your questions. All what you have been asking, Baba will answer all your questions today. So we are going to Baba's residence Stitch. now. So just uh, stay tuned and uh, keep watching Arenga TV. Thank you. We are getting a lot of so that you can never mind. You know, you know, you you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you Daddy today, and uh, this is the the little abode that uh, God has uh, given to Baba. So he will tell you more about it, Baba. But before we move on, can you speak to your people to welcome them to your abode in Ghana language? Ah, me no ano, me chia mo yena o, me se ma chia o, e wadi nyangu ponchra mo yena o, e hana. Ofe Ofe Kichua, a Radin and Coupon de Mame. Ah, say ye, eh, ye Becasa, more and more. Yamin Shaw, God bless you. So you heard that from Baba? So let's go in and. No, Mosomonita, but you won't visit. Yeah, Moso. 
Okay, my wonderful people. Once again, I welcome you back to Arenga TV. For those of you that have been following my channel, for the returnees, I say thanks for your loyalty. And for the new subscribers, I say thank you very much. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Honestly, I just have to come down to Lagos to meet Baba to make this video because I've seen a lot of uh, comments on uh, the last video. He was born in uh, Ghana and uh, later relocated to Nigeria which has to do with our daddy here. So unfortunate, he doesn't have a phone that can view this video. His phone is not an internet uh, connected uh, phone. And um, you know, it's not all this Android digital phone where you can subscribe or whatever, but we will get to that. And I felt, you know, he called me thereafter to just say thank you for the interview like i told you we just met at uh, ede uh, in Oshun state which is also nigeria and um ever since then baba and i have been you know interacting so when i saw the response you know uh, uh of you people in baba's video the comments i have almost uh, 80 something or 90 comments over 200 likes as we speak now i felt i need to meet baba again and some of you have already asked a lot of questions which i want to use this medium to ask daddy all the questions that you are some of the questions because i can't answer all some of the questions you have put you know across to baba in the comment section daddy Aquaba. To the Daimia say, Wunsu my chair, Missy Aquaba. A Radinian coupon shop. You will say this guy has started again, no? You don't understand. You can see. But the only one I gave to Baba, Aquaba. And Baba is bringing him a lot. Anyway, um, I'm sure you viewers, you, 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 you girls, what Baba is trying to say. So now, let me start by asking you some of the questions that uh, um, I've read in the comment section. <clears throat> Baba, they were asking me that after 51 years, how did they know that uh, you left uh, Ghana 51 years ago? And I was shocked. I was shocked. I later watched the video myself again and I said, wow, people are really, you know, thorough when they are watching videos. So in that way, I give you guys kudos. So, after 51 years, um, the language you speak, uh, Tui, is still fluent. How come? Do you have people around you that you speak this language to? Or what? I don't understand. Can you please explain that aspect? Uh, thank you very much, my beloved brother. Uh, to start with, I'm very sorry for getting that uh, you don't understand our dialects uh, that's why i was uh, also answering you that uh, medasi akwaba so i want to thank you also for coming to grant me this uh, interview and um, like you the question you just asked um i left ghana precisely about uh, 51 years ago uh, but uh, the grace that god has given me the a uh, tree akan language which i understand after my primary and middle school when i was about entering secondary stroke university but i have to we have to come to nigeria due to you know the uh, all aliens must go of uh, 
our former president in Ghana, uh, of blessed memory, Dr. Kofi Bougie, in 1969. But because my father, uh, who was very prominent in, in, in KJB, by the grace of God, who was a special, uh, who was a, a, a personal friend of the king of KJB, Nana Kumpi II, uh, made him to go to Accra to get special resident permit for, for my dad that he cannot, you know, rush because he was hospitalized. And that's why uh, we have to come down in January 1970. Unfortunately, I do not have anyone to speak this language with. But then, all that I've been able to grab, as at that time, age of 17 to 18 year about, is what I still speak now by the grace of God. Wow, this is amazing. So I'm sure that question has been answered. And uh, to some of you that hugs um, that were, you know, insinuating that uh, Baba left due to alien must go, whatever, it's like you are right. And he has already uh, confirmed that. So from, you know, the way you speak, sir, um, it's like you said you will love to visit Ghana again. Is it true? Why do you even want to go to Ghana again? Well, like I said earlier on in the first interview you uh, granted me in Ede, uh, Ocean State, that is the hometown of my beloved uh, parents of blessed memory. Um, I love Ghana so much to the extent that I will even want to thank God for the life of our late President, Black Reverend J. Lord Rollins, whom God have used to turn around Ghana. Because during that time when Ghanaians were in Nigeria, I was not happy with part of what is happening, the work they were doing, etc. Because I love Ghana so much, just as the same where I love Nigeria, that's uh, the home country of my parents, which incidentally happens to be my country too. Uh, I would love to go to Ghana, to visit Ghana after 51 good years. I've, there was a time I even made a move about, that made me obtain Nigerian passport in 2013. I tried all I could to visit Ghana then, but I was not opportuned, not until the passport expired in April 2018. And of most importance also, I have been longing for the past over two decades, over 20 years ago, to meet with one of our great Father and the Lord, uh, in Ghana, that is the father of the charismatic movement in Ghana, Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams. Uh, but I know this is the right time. But I was unable to meet him at times when I heard that uh, he came to Nigeria to around the Kedja area. So now, sir, um, someone even asked in the comment section, will you, will you still be able to locate where you were born? Very, very, very well. Even as you are speaking to me, I am imagining it, even the house there. I know a lot of development will have taken place just as Ghana is really progressing. Even the palace, where, because I was left with my dad during that time, I knew I knew the time. The chief, one of the chief of Nana Kumpi the second, the queen, the king of KJB, Yayo Hene, at that time.
by the grace of God, I, I, I will want to be, to be there again and again. Okay, sir. Um, at your age, sir, because uh, just like uh, the our viewers has already calculated, you know, they've done some mathematics. Somehow you will be around 68 or so. By the grace of God. So, how have you been coping? And you, what have you been doing? And I don't know, I want to know, do you have any job that you are doing? Well, presently, none. And uh, I have no retirement benefit or, or pension. Unfortunately, because uh, the level our beloved late dad wanted to take us to, uh, due to debt, it wasn't possible. So, but at the same time, I started working in Lagos as a teenager, between 18 19. I'm talking of around late 72, 1973, precisely. But then, just jumping from one company to the other, uh, I was unable to stay at the place. By the grace of God, I've been a, I mean, a dedicated worker to the extent that I became a pastor in one of the worldwide ministries. And uh, like we said, this is part of why I have nothing doing now. I'm talking of about 26 years ago that I was ordained. Uh, I have to move on to another worldwide ministry. I was there as well. Some things happened. I have to go to another, the third worldwide ministry. As a pastor, I have the ordination of all these three worldwide ministries. Those three worldwide ministries, they are not wicked. It's just that God knows how, why it happened that way. But by the grace of God, I'm surviving. Daddy has spoken very well. Um, I have thought of it. And um, he has said some, you know, things to me. Even there are some that I can't start, you know, saying on her right now. But I want to do a kind of fundraising for Daddy. In this video, yes, you will see the GoFundMe link. Please, kindly support Daddy with whatever you have. Number one, just like he said, for the ministry. Number two, is upkeep. And uh, the one that, you know, he has been wanting to do is uh, visiting, you know, is a place of birth. So I think we can, we can actualize that. Or what do you think? Yeah, we can actualize that. So the GoFundMe will be there. Share it among your friends and try to donate whatever you can. Um, let's try to touch daddy's life. We thank God for giving him a long life and we pray that we continue, we still live longer to fulfill what God has ordained him to do. So, if you love daddy and you love Arenga TV and also you love God of all, please kindly support this movement. So, um, Daddy, um, you grew up your early, you know, years, you grew up in Ghana. Yes, please. Is there anything you can just, you still remember in those days that you can just, you know, maybe we have, because from the analytics, I discovered that we have some Ghanaians in diaspora that are of your age and that are closer to your age watching your video. And uh, perhaps maybe when you say something, they might likely, you know, you might likely refresh their memories. Eh? Is there any of those things that you want to share with us here, sir? Yes, please. Uh, thank you so much, sir. God bless you, Rickley, in Jesus' name. 
Now I want to further introduce myself in uh, our Dalit Chi language account. Meanwhile, no, me chia mu yena. Me say everyday ni kupon on shrau be brave. Me ding di me ye osofu Johannes. Adeniji Adegbemi. Woma wumi wo KJB Vota Region Akan Ghana. About 68 years ago. Um me pacho me pese me pegana pa me pese muina mumbuame. And then I'll be back to the journey. I'll be back to the journey as a request, as my memory will still carry me. Oh, quain to me, manan till my breath. Now, my disway, I may draw. May I then mark or do me fear? Yami betray. May I then mark or do me fear? Yami betray. Minuanum, my prepa. Now, so me, I am here, say. Say. Ah, uh, me what we are say, say say. Na me a den, ma kodu mi fie. E ora de yam kupon betre. Na me a den, ma kodu mi fie. Yami e betre. Raditie, ma semi. I tell you, me, Fami, ye would be da. Eh, Raditie, ma semi. I tell you, me, Since the passage to glor the glorious exit of my beloved late wife, 10 years plus, the things has never been the same. But I thank God for the children God has given me. They are trying their possible best, but they have their own family and they could not do they couldn't do much. Maya Urehu say say me name say Euradin Yan Kupon Beshra Munyana If you say Jesu Yesu Christo the Dinti Euradin Sha God said we shall not lack anything if we believe and rely absolutely on him. And I want to tell you, I'm not preaching religion. I'm talking of Christianity, which is a way of life. Just as the word of God has said, I will mention this in three to see whether I still remember. Matthew Huma Ensian Enchichemu Edumi Ensan Enemi Ensan That said, so I pray with this opportunity, with, with this single grace, I want you to turn back to God. And I want to appreciate also 
the leaders, even presently in Ghana. Our able president, His Excellency Nana Akufo, who is a friend of our president in Nigeria here, and also a friend of Nigeria. I pray the Lord will give them the grace to pilot the country. All over the world, Euradin and Kupong, Unshamu, be brave. Speak to some of our uh, people, especially Nigerians and Ghana, that are always finding a way to, you know, say good or bad things, you know, about each other. Oh, this one is better than this, that is better. And what we are preaching for is oneness of Africa, unity in Africa. Maybe as a father in the Lord, I don't know if you can also appeal to them, both Nigerians and Ghanaians, so that we see ourselves as one. From time immemorial, like I've said earlier on, Ghana and Nigeria, they have many things, almost everything in common. So I see no reason why, you know, there will be a sort of, uh, uh, I am for Paul, uh, I am for uh, a social, social person. We are all one. God knows us to be one. What God is telling us is that he wants us to be one because he's the God of all universe. And besides, let us try as much as possible to do the needful, to bring back the first love that have been existing, even among our leaders. Like I said, when he was granting me interview in Ede, that when our late president of blessed memory, Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah of Ghana, you know, uh, established a free education, I was one of the beneficiary, even from the primary, from the primary school. And like I said, not long, our late father, uh, late ex, uh, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, in the then Western region, also established free education. And it was not only for the uh, Western region. All other regions enjoyed, even some of most of the leaders in Nigeria. So we did everything. So let us emulate that unity. Even in Nigeria, all the all the, I mean, the founding fathers, like Sadaun Sokoto, Tafa Balewa, Inamdi, uh, Dr. Inamdi Azikwe, Chief Obafe Miawolowo. Chipesela uh, Ketola, and all others I cannot mention. You will see how they foster unity, and that unity, you see the progress it brought, even before the independence. So I will enjoin all, especially African continent. We thank God that they now know that African continents are not, uh, uh, I mean, inhabitants of African continents are not monkeys. Mm -hmm. In the olden days, in overseas countries, the white, they thought Africans have tail. But thank God for civilization, education, and also knowledge of God that made them know that truly we are not monkeys. Rather, Africans all over the world are making waves. So let us do the needful to reunite and come back to be one, to make African continent a great continent. Wow. That is what God desires, I pray. May the Lord give us wisdom to excel and to do exploit for God and to be His and His alone. And at the end, we reign with Him in heaven. Amen, sir. Again, be brave.
Thank you very much, sir. So, um, will we still see more of Daddy? And um, by the grace of God, as uh, things unfold, I will be communicating uh, to you people by making videos on the progress of how we are going to arrange for Daddy to visit uh, uh, Ghana. I can do it alone. Let's do it together. Well, there's no much again because of time constraints. I just want to thank you for the opportunity God has given you, you know, to, to watch me. And first and foremost, we thank the Almighty God who made this day a reality. And I pray that let God use you to be the success story of my life and to be fulfilled, especially in the vineyard of the Lord God Almighty. And I want to seize this opportunity to thank my beloved brother, that is our great Are, Arenga. God bless you richly, and God in his infinite message will begin to multiply you, and even in advance and in anticipation, all of you that are willing to give me a lift up. And God will continually and perpetually uphold you to bless you abundantly more than your expectation. Before I sign off, um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I really don't have much, but I wish to start the kickoff of this uh, GoFundMe, at least by supporting Daddy with a token that uh, I have, please, this is just from Arenga TV to you. I know it's small, but just help us to manage it and uh, it's just for your upkeep. And uh, we pray that God in his infinite mercy will continue to keep you in sound health and wealth for us. So till I come your way, with another wonderful and interesting video is your G Arenga signing off by saying Odabo Kachia. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah,